OCR, a PDF file and other image types as well like TIFF or JPEG files that have been scanned. Now here we've got a PDF file. Now I know before OCR that it's not, there's no text in it. Like I can't select it in Acrobat Reader. Uh, the result I want is the scan after OCR which is like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put scan before OCR in there. I'm going to set the output to this folder here. If you go to file menu, conversion folder setup, paste it in there. So now to do this, it's actually set by default, but if you go into conversion options, check an OCR or source PDF. So what this does, it checks to see if there's any text already. So if there's text already, then it's a good chance it's been OCR'd already. Otherwise, it OCR's it. So I'm going to convert this. It's just one page. And there you go. It's now OCR'd it for you. It's that simple. You don't have to set up anything. As you can see, it's now text that I can use. So I'm going to close that. Um, and that's it, really. You can run in monitor mode. So you can scan a batch list of files in a hot folder, or you can put as many files in as you want, or you can put zip files in. You can uh, scan email addresses. Lots more things you can do with Batch Document Converter Pro. Give it a try.